皆さんこんにちは、アビです。Hey guys, it's Abby. And in today's video, I'm gonna doing a kawaii Japanese makeup box unboxing for you guys. I'm gonna pretty much do a review for you guys. And I'm so excited to announce that this video is in collaboration with YesStyle. They sent me a Japanese makeup box for free to do a review for you guys and for me to give you guys my honest opinion whether you should get these items or not and for the full makeup look this is kind of like the full look that you guys will see me um, do for this video and you guys can see exactly what I liked about it um, how I applied on these products um, some tips and tricks on how to use these products and things like that now before the video starts don't forget to use my code capital CTE123 um, to get 5% off all your orders on YesStyle I have a feeling you guys are going to like all these items and you're going to want to purchase some of these items so definitely use my code before checking out because it's definitely going to help um, with your orders you're going to get a bit of a discount which is always a plus it's always great so go ahead and use that code if you can so without further ado let's get straight to the makeup look so as you guys can see here oh, i'm dropping this um you guys can see some of the products that i was given i can't hold all of them in one hand but it's just some of the products that I was sent to by YesStyle to do a review. These are all just different Japanese um, makeup brands um, and kind of some of the items that they sell. And YesStyle is able to pretty much ship worldwide um, and pretty much give you accessibility to get to certain items that maybe you wouldn't be able to find um, in your local stores. At least where I am in the US, it's really hard for me to find these types of items. I have to go to a, you know, a Japanese marketplace to find these. So it's really awesome how accessible it is. I'm gonna go ahead and do a makeup look using all these products. That way you guys can kind of visualize how these products apply on, how they you know look on the face. Um, so yeah, let's start off with the first item and I believe this is a sunscreen. It is called the Can Make Mermaid Skin Gel UV and it has SPF 50. I'm very familiar with Can Make products. Um, so it is to no surprise that I love the packaging. Um, I feel like Canmake is very well known for having very aesthetic and cute packaging and it's also very affordable um, and makeup. So let's open that up. Um, it seems like it's kind of it's a mermaid collection. Um, so it definitely gives me very beachy vibes. Definitely makes me excited for um, the summer. I did already apply my skincare. I did do a video. Um, I'll link it somewhere up here where I kind of a yes style skincare review for you guys that was also gifted to me. Um, so go ahead and check out that video. I use that and I feel like my skin's gotten so much better. It's so dewy. So my skin's already pretty much prepped for makeup. So let's apply it on this product. So as soon as I um, apply it on my hand, I can already see it's a very pretty, it's a very pastel yellow color. You guys probably can't see on the screen, so I'll have to record it individually so you guys can see. But already off the bat, it looks very pretty. Um, let's apply that on the skin. I love the feeling and the texture of this sunscreen. It makes the skin look very glowy. I'm, I'm already seeing myself in the mirror here, and it looks very dewy. Um, I love the feeling. Um, it, it blends really well with my skincare already. And... It already makes my skin look a lot more dewy. I, I love it. I love the feeling as well. It makes my skin, it, it feels very moisturized, which I love. When I looked up on Yesa, I saw that this product was very popular. So it definitely makes sense why it would be very popular. So I do want to mention one thing. Back in 2019, I was fortunate enough to live and study in Japan. I studied at a Japanese university in Tokyo. And I pretty much got to experience life in Japan and kind of got to see what were the trends in regards to makeup and fashion. And I got to say, these sunscreens in general were very, very popular. I went to Shibuya 109, which is a very popular um, kind of mall, I guess, that sells kind of you know, Japanese brand clothing. My sister and I frequently shopped at this place. We at least loved looking at the different shops that they had here. Um, it's definitely a very hip, very popular location to go. However, they had a stand and there was this specific sunscreen that was crazy popular in Japan. And they kind of had like this little workshop where, you know, there was a bunch of girls waiting in line. And then when it was your turn, someone would help you. Um, they would give you a pamphlet and they would kind of help you figure out, are you more cool tone or warm tone? Um, and so I can show it to you guys right now because I still kept it. So I actually usually came in like an envelope like this, but I ended up like ripping this apart because I wanted to use these as posters because I thought they were so cute. Um, but anyway, you guys can see in the front, um, there's like spring, summer, autumn, and winter. They're pretty much trying to help you figure out what are the colors that work best for your skin color, with your skin tone, um, and your hair color as well, which is really great. In the back, you guys can see an image of a kawaii girl. And then the product that I'm talking to you guys about, how popular it is. This was the Skin Aqua Tone Up UV Essence and it has SPF 50. The color scheme was like pink um, and a purplish blue color. Um, and then this is the pamphlet I'm talking to you guys about that they gave us. So they, oh, it's the other way around. 
Um, it looks like this. So they ask you different questions like what hair color do you have? What lip colors do you like to use? And at the end they give you kind of a result and my sister and I ended up getting Autumn. Um, so you guys can see here. It was very, very cute and it was pretty much sponsored by this company. And pretty much this is like a sunscreen and it was so, so popular. Um, when I was in Japan, I pretty much realized that a lot of girls use these sort of sunscreens. They didn't use any makeup for sure, they did use this. I have my old sunscreen. Um, mind you guys, this is so old. I purchased this back in 2019. It is 2022, so clearly it is old. I'm not going to be using it anytime soon. Um, however, um, I ended up finding it in my bathroom after I came back from Japan. I had brought in so many things for family members and for my for myself as well. Since in Japan, I ended up finding it in that bag in the bathroom. So I guess I just stored a bunch of things and I just forgot about them. But I ended up finding this and you guys can see here, this is SPF 50. It's the same kind of um, idea, it's kind of sunscreen. Um, and maybe I can show you guys. It's, it's got like a purple color to it, but it has that same sort of consistency. So in my opinion, I personally prefer Japanese sunscreens because of just how smooth they are and how they feel. I, I, I like them a lot better on my skin rather than you know certain American um, sunscreens. They tend to be very thick and they leave this kind of white mask to it, which I don't really love. This is an example. So if you guys are really interested in Japanese makeup and are trying to get into Japanese, you know, learn about Japanese beauty and things like that, then definitely get yourself a can make sunscreen because I gotta tell you guys, they were so popular when I was in Japan. Like I, like I said, I even convinced myself to get one. I purchased it in Don Quixote, which is a very popular um, store in Japan. Um, and they, they sold them there, but I mean this brand was everywhere so but they're pretty much the same idea same thing I love it right off the bat. I think it's amazing and I'm very familiar with these so I definitely recommend you guys to purchase this from Yes Job. The next part I'm going to be using is this um, Chapstick or this lip balm um, and it says Sakura Pink um, as you open it, it looks, um, you guys can see I kind of already used it, but it, it looks white pretty much It's a nice creamy neutral, you know your your basic you know, lip balm so I don't know if you guys can see, but my lips um, are now more pink. So I've seen these a lot in Japan. When I was over there, I actually ended up purchasing one for myself. But um, these are very popular in Japan because they pretty much are, you don't really have to commit to an actual lipstick. It's sort of like a lip tint mixed with a lip balm so it moisturizes your lips but also tints your lips which is really really great. I've purchased lip tints before but they usually like really dry out my lips and this does not. Um, this feels very moisturizing and um, I remember I think I ended up taking it off a little bit but it still stays in the lips which is amazing and it has this very pretty pink color to it so I already love it. I feel like it's a two-in-one. Um, when I was in Japan, I did purchase one, as I told you guys earlier, and a lot of my friends would use them as well. Um, I know that a lot of Japanese girls, at least in my university, I didn't see, or when I was in Japan, I didn't see many girls wearing makeup. And this was definitely like a go-to product. Um, if they were on the go or they wanted to add some sort of cute color to their lip but didn't want to commit to necessarily a lipstick, this was definitely a a good product to get. Um, so I, I love the product. I definitely love how it moisturizes my lips but also adds a nice little color to it as well. So I just added a very thin coat of foundation all over my face. Um, kind of focusing on my forehead because I'm going to be doing my brows now and I don't want to add some foundation and kind of mess up my eyebrows. So I decided to just kind of focus on like, this top area. Okay, so I will send these two different products uh, for the eyebrows. This is the Kami Tokyo Mix Eyebrow. And this is the um, Kiss Me Heavy Rotation Coloring Deep Brown. So um, as soon as you open it, it has three different shades. And it comes with a little brush right here. Um, Kami products are known for having their own brushes, which is amazing. Um, so let's go ahead and use it. Um, I do want to give you guys a little trivia here. Uh, when I was living in Japan, a lot of you know girls, when they were in the train, they would do their makeup. I saw so many girls on the train. You know, They had a the little makeup bag and they were just doing their makeup. And I think that's why Kami sells um, the products with its own brush because it's so much more like convenient for a lot of women um, who are on the go or you know want something that's a lot smaller. You can see this is a little bit more compact, and the brush makes it very useful. You can put it in its own little you know box, and you don't have to bring as many items. Um, definitely, if you're on the go, you're in the train, you're doing makeup, you don't want to bring out your whole set of brushes, so it's very convenient. I think that's why Kami sells these products, and I know a lot of girls, at least when I look at Japanese YouTubers and their makeup looks. They use the actual brushes from the little um, makeup containers that they, they purchase. Kami is a very popular makeup brand and they're very well known for doing that. So I'm going to go ahead and use this, this top color for my brows. Um, I'm going to be using that little fuzzy little brush. And we're going to apply that all over the brows. So I just finished doing my eyebrows using this product. 
Um, I really love this little brush, especially um, this other side, that little like smaller tip side. Simply because I do tend to have a little bit of like bald spots in my eyebrows and I was really able to get in those little areas. Now I'm going to go ahead and use this little brow gel. I'm a little concerned simply because the shade is very light. Right off the bat, it looks like mascara. Well, in my opinion, it has that kind of mascara texture. So I just finished using this product and I gotta say I really do like it. It did take me a little getting used to it because it is my first time using an eyebrow gel. But I gotta say I really like it. So now let's go ahead and move on to the next item. So because I'm doing a makeup look, I'm gonna go ahead and do my um, do my eyes. The next product I'm gonna be using is this one. It's the Can Make Perfect Stylist Eyes. Um, this wasn't part of the whole Kawaii Japanese box makeup set. Um, but this is just a can make item that I already own that I thought would work well for this look. Um, I did look up online on the Yes Style website and they do sell this exact product. So um, what you see here is exactly what you would get if you purchase an item on Yes Style. I'm leaving a link to that product in the description box below in case you guys want to purchase it. We do sell it in Yes Style. This is a little eyeshadow palette in O2. Um, I'll see if I can find it and I'll show it to you guys. I'll probably input like a Yes Style image here so you guys can see what product it is exactly. Um, but it mainly has a bunch of different shades of brown. I'm going to be using the uh, Style 1 product and I'm going to apply that all over the eye. Um, I'm going for like this very neutral makeup look and um, I feel like that product would work really, really well. So I finished applying that base color on my eye. Um, from the same palette, I'm going to go ahead and use, um, so the one I just used was Style 1, but now I'm going to go ahead and use the color base and I'm going to apply that under my eye. I'm going to create what's known as Agyo-san. I'm going to go ahead and use the Mix Eyebrow Palette and I'm going to use the top color over here, the dark brown color. I mean, it's not really dark brown. And I'm going to be using a very small little brush and I'm going to pretty much use this to kind of underline the little agyosa to make it to make it more pronounced. I'm going to go ahead and do the eyeliner. So this is the product that was sent to me um, and this is the um, Kiss Me Heroin Make Smooth um, Liner and this is in the 01 Black. I see this a lot of my local Japanese marketplace. They sell so many Japanese makeup products and this is something that always caught my eye. So I'm so happy that I was sent this. Um, so let's open it up. Packaging wise is a 10 out of 10. I love it. So it looks like this. It's um, all black and then it just says Heroin Make Smooth Liquid Eyeliner. Um, and as you open it, you can see it has a very thin tip, which is amazing. It's definitely what I, I personally look for when I'm looking for a liner because it allows me to have better precision when I'm doing my line. I'm going to go ahead and do this off camera simply because I always mess up when I'm doing my liner looking at the camera. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll talk to you guys about um, how I liked it or not, if it worked well or not. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. So I just applied my liner and I got to say I love this product. Um, it is, like I said earlier, it is very thin. It's got a very thin tip that I can really get in the little spots of my eyes. I do have hooded eyes, so it's very hard for me to do my liner. And if I have a liner that has a very thick tip, I am more prone to messing up. And this product has really helped me so that I don't mess up. It is also waterproof. When I try to clean it up, I had to use a wipe. I couldn't just use my hand or just kind of clean it up a little bit like that because it is waterproof. So if you guys are looking for a good waterproof liner, then I highly recommend this one. The product I'm going to be using is the mascara. I feel like it's from the same brand because it's kind of like the whole heroin um, aesthetic, I guess. This is the Kiss Me Heroin Make Long and Curl. This is the mascara in 01 Black. It is very, very cute. Once again, the packaging is amazing. In the back, you guys can see how it is waterproof as well. So it seems like the liner and the mascara kind of go together and they are waterproof. Um, let's go ahead and open that up. So it looks like this. It comes in this little safety container here. And it does have that same kind of logo as the liner. Um, it says Heroin Make Long and Curl a, a Mascara Advanced Film. And it has this kind of like goldish pinkish tone at the tip here. It's very, very pretty. Um, as you open it, it looks like this. It's kind of got this curved almost think of like a smile um, kind of uh, tip here or this kind of little brush um, and it's also very thin so I've used other um, mascaras and the little bristle and the little brush is a lot thicker um, but this is really nice I, I love it because I feel like I can really get in the in the lower lashes where I always struggle I usually tend to um, have mascara on my lid or kind of under my eye as I'm applying mascara because the the brush is very thick so I always kind of mess up so um, I want to try this out again and, and show you guys that it's you're pretty much going to be able to um, do a better job at at least doing the lower lashes with this product because of just how thin the, the actual brush is. It's already looking really, really great, which I love. My lashes are very long and this mascara is really helping my lashes. Like you guys can see my lower lashes, they're already looking really, really long. 
So I just applied the mascara and I really like the way my lashes are looking. They really made my lashes look really, really long, which is really, really great. I feel like my eyes look a lot bigger now as well. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the official foundation all over my face because I did a very thin layer, add my concealer, and then we'll add the blush. So I applied some foundation and my concealer. That way my skin is kind of set and ready for the blush. The blush that I was sent was the Can Make Cream Cheeks. So this is for the cheeks as well as for the lips. So it has like a, a double usage. Um, and this is the CL05. Um, I'll be leaving a link to what shade it was that you see here in the video. Um, so as you guys can see, it is very, very creamy. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and apply that on my lips so you guys can kind of see how that would look like on the lips. So as you guys can see, the color does look very light. Um, I think I'm gonna use it more as a blush rather than as the lipstick because I feel like this color doesn't really show up as well on camera. I think in person it looks very cute. It's very natural. I think it would work really well for like a very natural, simple look. So it looks so cute. I love it as a blush. I think it's very natural and it goes really well with my foundation. Now I do have a tip though, at least for me, what worked better for me is I didn't add any translucent powder or anything. I just put my foundation and then I applied the blush and I just tapped it. I didn't rub it. Um, this way you're not gonna mix your foundation and your blush. And also if you add powder and then you use this blush, it might not blend very well. I feel like when you add, a, at least for me, when I add my translucent powder, I don't add anything else or I'm gonna add something that would be more of like a powder base. If I add any sort of liquid, it just starts getting very cakey. So if you are gonna use some sort of translucent powder, then add that completely at the end. That way um, it doesn't mess up your foundation. Now as for the lip color, I think I'm gonna go with a, another Can Make product. Here I have two different lipsticks. I think I'm gonna be using the O2. There's O1 and O2. O2 is more of like a red color. Um, Yes, I'll just sell this exact product. I'll be leaving a link to that in the description box below in case you want to purchase the item. Um, but they do sell it on Yesta. I did look it up and you guys can see it here. This is the exact product. Um, this is a very pretty red color. What I love about this lipstick is that it's very shiny, very moisturizing, and it has a very nice tint. I mean, it is very tinted, but it doesn't feel so strong. So let's apply that on the lips. So this is the final look. I think I'm gonna go ahead and fix just a couple things off camera simply because it is quite hard for me to do my makeup um, in the camera. Uh, but I will be back with you guys and give you guys the full review. I'm gonna go ahead and style my hair and everything and then I'll tell you guys um, exactly what I think about each product, if I like them, if they're worth it. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, I'm back. So I styled my hair and decided to wear this really cute sweater. I do wanna mention that these really cute bows are from YesStyle. I'll be leaving a link to this product in the description box below in case you guys want to purchase the items. This did not come with the set but I just thought that I would use these little bows I thought that they would work really well for this look so this is pretty much the finished look I am so happy with all these products and I'm obsessed with this look it's quite different from what I normally do I always stick with the same style so it was really nice to kind of branch out and try something new I'm obsessed with the look I think it's so cute and I loved every single product now let's go ahead and rate all the items so let's start in the order that I use them. So as for the Kamek Mermaid Skin um, Gel UV, which I think is pretty much just a sunscreen, I loved it. 100% will buy it once I run out. I think it's so cute. The texture is amazing. It blended really well with my foundation. As I told you guys earlier, I struggle a lot with finding the right sunscreen that works with my foundation because sometimes it tends to not blend really well. Um, so I love, love, love this one. It feels really nice on my skin and also gives it a nice dewy feeling to it. So. I love it. I will definitely like get another one of these once I run out. The next product is the Can Make Tokyo Mix Eyebrow. And I gotta say, I really love this product. I was concerned, as I told you guys as well, including this product as well. I was really concerned that they would be too light because as you guys can see, my hair is jet black. I recently dyed it. So I was just, even now I was trying to like get used to this new hair color and like, cause it's a lot darker than it was before. And I was just trying to adjust with my makeup and I was really worried because this is like a lot lighter than what I normally do for my brows. And I love the little like brush that it comes with, especially this little one because it really allows me to get in those little areas. Um, it has different types of shades, which is really great. And you can definitely also use this for contouring. I love using this for like the under eyes. I told you guys before, using a lighter brown shade for the lower um, eye to kind of contour there. Really works really well because it's a light brown color. 
So I really love this product But I will say though combining this one and this one worked really well as you guys can see my eyebrows are quite light But it worked really well together. Um, so after I used this product I used this one so overall these two products, you know, I like, kind of combined them together, but they are a 10 out of 10 I really like them like I told you guys earlier. I'm very new to using eyebrow gel uh, But I loved it honestly. It looks amazing. So what would I rate these products a 10 out of 10 to be honest? This is definitely would be like my go-to products if I were to want to go with a more lighter brow Maybe I might change up my makeup routine and maybe stick with this lighter brow. I think it's really really cute um, but we'll see but will I get these again probably I think they're really cool products and like I said earlier together I think they work amazing so I will probably get them again now let's talk about the liner and I gotta say I think I already told you guys before I don't think I need to say much about this product because I already talked so much about it when I was doing the makeup look but I loved it I ended up filling in a little bit more on my liner and it made it super easy I didn't have to worry about going over I could really get in those little areas and be more precise on how I wanted to do my liner so I will definitely buy this on guest style once I run out 100% a 10 out of 10 highly recommend you guys to get this item it's really worth the money next product is the mascara this is the heroin make long and curl mascara I honestly really like this product I love how like small it was as well as I told you guys before um, it really allowed me to get in those little areas and I did not mess up for once in my life I every time I do my mascara I always mess up because I always get mascara on my eyelid and my lower eye and I just have to like restart or I have to like retouch up it's just a mess and this really allowed me to really be able to get in those areas I feel like this is really really great for those lower lashes where it's really really hard to like get in there um, but and also the packaging is definitely a win-win but will I get this yeah if I run out I'm definitely gonna get some more of this product because it is so cute and it's really useful and as I told you guys as well it's also waterproof and I've tested it out guys and it really is like really is waterproof so I know that it's really gonna stay firm on my eyes and I feel like it's gonna be I think these two products that are waterproof are gonna be perfect Perfect for the summertime as I'm probably gonna be sweating so much so once again if you guys get any of these products like get them together as a set like they really do work really well the last product is this Cami cream cheek a cream based blush it's not really gonna dry out the skin it's gonna add to that kind of dewy look so I really like the consistency I really like the product itself just a shade I feel like it didn't really necessarily work with my skin tone now I would rate this product still a 10 out of 10 simply because there's nothing wrong with the actual product I just feel like it didn't necessarily match my skin tone but either way it was still actually very cute and I was really surprised how nice it looked on me so overall it's still a 10 out of 10 it's a wonderful product maybe because I'm just kind of used to using more peach tone blushes and I feel like they work better on me like I said there's no faults in the product itself I think it's very cute it, the consistency is perfect I just wish it was much more like a peachy tone rather than more cool tone so that is my yes style kawaii japanese makeup box review I loved all these products I'm so thankful to yes style for collaborating with me in this video if you guys liked any of these products do not worry you will be able to purchase these items I'll be linking every single product you guys saw in this video including all of the other can make products that I showed in the video that were not part of the kawaii japanese box set but that you can also find on yes style so do not worry if you liked anything then I will go ahead and link that for you guys and you guys can go ahead and purchase those items that you guys are interested in don't forget to use my code capital c u t e one two three to get five percent off all your orders on yes style honestly guys it does make a big difference i always use my own code because it really helps me whenever i'm on yes style it's really hard for me to just like not keep buying more things i always have to like control myself and be like hey abby we don't have that much money we're trying to save for japan here so um i do have to control myself but that code really does help but once again thank you guys so much for watching like this video if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel to become part of the kawaii family and follow me at the official underscore abby for some cute fashion inspiration um, and maybe posting a tiktok on these products as well so if you guys have not already follow me at the underscore official underscore abby i'll be leaving a link to all my social media accounts in the description box below so follow me everywhere if you can thank you guys so so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!